Questions et commentaires? Questions and comments. And comments. The honorable member for Battle River Crowfoot. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I, I appreciate uh, my, my honourable uh, colleague and friend's speech. Certainly, he articulated very well. Um, I think the the hypocrisy that is being demonstrated daily by the the government. Certainly, there's been a lot of conversation about the need to balance national security interests with accountability, and uh, uh, to suggest that this this motion doesn't take that into account, I think is 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 simply a a, a tactic of, from the government to distract from the real issue of accountability. I'm wondering if uh, if uh, the member could comment further on how this motion does actually strike that correct balance. Our member for Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. Well, I thank the member for Battle River Crowfoot for the question. And it's tremendously important that we highlight the attention to national security that this motion pays. And it's very important. It lays out very clearly that it is the parliamentary law clerk, not a partisan politician, not the official opposition, not myself, not even yourself, Madam Speaker, who is going to decide which information is sensitive and which is of national security interest. The parliamentary law clerk is going to be the arbiter of that. And, and that's so important that we protect national, national security while also upholding the rights of, of parliamentarians in this place to have the unfettered access to documents that they request, particularly when they're in uh, such, such high demand uh, in, in the interests of Canadians' confidence in, in public institutions.